me, welcome back to Rogue Tech. So, the last time we played was with our Pirate Lance, and we managed to hit, hit up and get a bunch of Gladiator parts, which was kind of cool. Um, it's nice to see that the, the uh, Lighter Max are actually taking on um, heavy targets and actually coming out successful, which is great. So, we're going to pull off one more mission here on this planet before we leave, and that will be today. Now, if we're going to quickly go to the barracks. We was able to upgrade our pilots slightly. So ground, ground Zero now has the Warlord ability, which is excellent. In this version, we get plus 10% weapon damage, 40% fire arc, and one, one to all accuracy for every shot, which is fine. Um, in later, the next version of Rogue Tech, that's actually can be used once every four turns or something like that, which is which is fine as well. Uh, Flatliner, we were able to get up another point in gunnery. Um, and height, we added a point to tactics so we can spot enemies better. And then Vein Skater, we added one point to Guts to get a little bit of heat generation saved. Um, he didn't have very many points, but I figured getting Guts at 5 would probably be good to help with that little bit of heat generation. So we're going to go and pull off a quick mission here for House Merrick. Once again, we're trying to get a little bit back in their good books. They don't, they're not really hounding on us. So we're going to do the de de decapitation mission, which is going to give us a uh, opportunity to get another heavy mech. Because for sure it's the Assassinate is going to be a heavy, heavy mech in this particular uh, mission. We've had a confirmation from several sources that the leader of an insurgent cell backed by the planetary government is moving in the open. This is a rare opportunity to take out one of the primary primary enemies of the legitimate Merrick regime in Hazeldean. Additionally, we'll include a bonus payment if you're able to destroy all the target's escorting units, which I'm sure we will be able to. So, my guess, couple lances and the main guy, but we'll see how it goes. Let's negotiate this. I'm going to go for full salvage. We're doing excellent. I was able to sell a little bit of funds between uh, episodes here. We're at 840,000, so we should be good until the end of the month. And we're going to pull out our uh, light lance here, and we're going to drop in our main lance. So the butcher, hunchback, trebuchet, and wolverine. And we're going to go with ground zero here, and flatliner, and height, and vein skater. So let's get this done. All right, so here we go. Four mechs on the ground. There's our insurgent leader, and that looks like... I don't know. Black Knight, maybe? Gladiator? If it's a gladiator, I'll be really happy. Okay, so we're up against a medium here for sure. What, t what weight is this guy? 45. So we've got two lances to deal with. we got one lance up over here. And one back here. So we're going to push and engage these guys first. Um, we can push straight through here. We can get some cover so we don't get shot by the guys when they get up here. Take these guys out first. We might then move straight to, to um, kill this guy, but depending on what kind of firing we're getting from up here, we may take out the mechs up here first. So we're going to reserve one turn, move, every move everybody together here. So ground zero. Sprint us up here. Going to try and close aye with aye. these guys as fast as possible. Once again, it, it's not so much that our timing um, is an issue, this looks like an ideal place for but a more so that we want to really make sure that uh, um, we get these guys killed as quickly as possible. Sensors have something. Okay, so he's got, what do we got here, 30 and a 35. Alright, we're not worried about these guys. There's three mediums. Or three lights, three... Oh, I guess they reserved back one turn, so this guy could be... That's 45. Where's the other... Oh, right, never mind. Receiving Those guys reserved. Alright, that makes more sense. Double time. Let's go. Okay, then height will go last here. 55 tonner. Ready to rock. Maybe it's a clan mech, which would be nice. Commander. So we've got a few. We got a f some Clan Wolverine parts, Clan Kataro part, another 55 tonner. Okay, 30 ton vehicle. So it looks like we're going to have some light resistance. Of course, now that I say that, uh, we'll probably get hit by a ton of uh, really heavy guys here. Another 20 ton max. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be uh, some really light light resistance here before we take on the main guy. So these are governmental forces. Probably not that heavily equipped. So we're going to move forward here. 
Uh, we're just going to walk it in. Out. And we can spot this guy right here. Fire starter PM. So, look at this. He's got some flamers that we could use. Does he have any in the center torso? He does. I, thought, I was just thinking maybe I could go for a uh, um, precision strike, but I think we're just going to fire wildly so here. If there's nothing else good... Ooh, head hit. Nice. That's probably the tag. If there's nothing else good here, um, we might take those flamers? I don't know. I think the days of our flamer vehicles are really over at this point. So maybe we, maybe we just focus fire this guy down and get rid of him quickly. Okay, not worried about the spider. You can jump around all you want over there, boy. Okay, light vehicle moving up. Not revealing himself yet. Another light mech moving in. Can't see them, I'm not worried. Alright, so let's move in uh, Vane Skater. And let's get up to... Hmm, let's print it up here. The other guys over there are going to be able to see us, but I'm not that worried right now. Let's get rid of these guys here. So let's get rid of the uh, Ultra Auto Cannon and the Rocket Launchers. 32% uh, chance against the Light Mech. Oh, we did hit him with the uh, PPC in the head. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Because now, I think we're just going to unload with Flatliner. So this guy is a Enforcer? Is it a Clan Enforcer, though? 55 tons. I thought Enforcers were... Uh, that's a 7S. 55, oh, maybe I was wrong. I guess they are 55 tons. Goss Triple Plus. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm your Spaniel. Okay, so let's move in. Just going to walk it, and we're going to unload missiles on this guy. We're going to leave the lasers off. I'm trying for a head hit here. All we need is one. Did we get it? Nope. Take that. Okay, we're going to move height in. I think I will do a uh, offensive push on this guy, see if we can get a headshot on him. Kintaro. So we're starting to see a lot more Kintaros now. Don't really mind that too much. So let's get to here. What's our chance to hit here? 25. Wow. Wow. 25 there too. Doesn't really matter where I got on go, I don't think. 30% chance to hit. Okay, let's move height in. And we're just gonna fire on the fire starter. Let's just see if we can get rid of them. Maybe we get lucky and get a headshot. Unlikely, but yeah. So those torso matter SRMs really aren't doing a lot for us. LRM5. Four, so the 45 ton max probably a Vindicator. Hopefully it's a double A. What do we got? That's this guy moving back here. I don't know where he's, he's moving away from us, I guess. So ground zero, we're going to take advantage. We're going to move first here. We're going to move up. Aye, aye. And I think we're just going to kill a fire starter. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to bother. It's a waste of time on that. Kentaro, who's the most dangerous guy? Kentaro, look at all these pluses on their weapons here. Enforcer, Ghost, that's a lot of damage. But this guy can output a lot of damage as well. 880, 840. What's the better chance to hit Kentaro? 101 damage per uh, PPC here. So let's fire on this guy. Tagged him. Double hit. Nice. So their light guys are going to move, and then we're going to get a chance to shoot on that Kentaro again. So what we might do is move Vane Skater up the hill, or just over here slightly, and try and take out that leg. For, so the fire starter's leaving. Don't have to worry about him now. This vehicle and the light mech over here. ER medium laser, probably. I have no idea what it could be at 30 tons, but 20 ton mech, we pretty much know what that is. 
coming down the hill slightly. Okay. So, Van Skater, let's get you on the side of the Kentaro. Good chances to hit. So, let's move down here. And how much has he got left on his leg here? A uh, fair bit. If we do an offensive push, it's going to be really low chances to hit. So, we're just going to shoot on him. Just going to fire. Maybe we get lucky and actually hit the leg. But we'll see. No, oh, a couple torso shots. Arm gone. Alright. It's gonna force him to move first. So it's sort of a lackluster re response there. So what have we got here left on him? So that was just basically his arm. LRM 15 and light medium laser are gone. SRMs are still there. So let's get height. Up to the side of this guy. Maybe down in here? Yeah, that looks good. I got you. Get a little bit close, make it harder for this guy to hit with the... Uh, he's a pilot, so it's harder to hit with his... Um, Goss rifle this close. We're going to leave off the medium laser to save a bit of heat, and we're going to unload on the side of this guy. Not quite enough in the leg, but he is unstable. All right, two misses. They're trying to put a little bit of pressure on us, but it's not going to work. Okay, flatliner, we're going to walk up the hill here. No point in sprinting, we're just going to walk up. And we're going to unload on the Kentaro here. Uh, we're going to go for the kill. If we get it, great. If we don't, well, that's fine too. But we'll probably take his leg out. I hope we do anyway. That many missiles. Nope. Get the knockdown, though. That means we all go before him next turn. So we're going to try for a headshot. See if we can take him out. LRM5 coming in. No big deal. A lot of dust. And then their main guy. So I'm thinking there's probably only three guys over here. It's going to be a pain walking over to get this guy. He's kind of staying back there. Alright, so Ground Zero goes first. I'm thinking we should probably deal with this Enforcer. I kind of want that Goss Rifle though. So I'm going to walk over to this side of him like this. Just turn just enough. We're going to try and bore a hole through the side of him right here. So we're going to just fire on his side. Locking in all weapon systems. Oof, man. Having a hard time hitting lately with these uh, big, big percentage to hit chance weapons. This guy's coming back for a punch. I don't even know why they do that. Alright. Sure. Firestarter's coming back for a punch. I guess he's just trying to tie this guy up. Wow. Looks like you two guys are dying this turn. Maybe. I was going to use Van Skater on the Enforcer, but I'm thinking now, you know, they challenged him. He's got to he's got to lay down some law on them. So the vehicle moving back for some reason. Looks like the mech's going to try and flank us from behind. So Van Skater, we're not even going to move. Actually, we're not going to move him. We're not going to go yet with him. We're going to use Flatliner first, I think. So, we want to take on this Enforcer. So, maybe it's going to be Height then. So, let's move over here with Height. Roger that, Commander. I'm going to take this Enforcer on from the side again. He took 101 damage on the side. He's a little bit unstable. So, we're going to unload with everything on him. Well, we can't. Well, just about everything. Everything we can. How about that? Nice. Stability check failed. He's knocked down. Down to one of three. Got two guys left. I'm thinking Flatliner is probably going to go on um, the Enforcer. A lot more dust coming in. 
Okay, so we're going to just rotate Flatliner slightly, because we got that guy coming up behind us. And we're going to shoot on the Enforcer. We're going to go with just the LRMs, so we're going to try for a headshot. All we need is one. There we go. Chance for some Enforcer parts. And now Van Skater, not even going to move. Going to multi-target Firestarter. And B is going to be the... Spider. All these on the fire starter. Hopefully we kill him in one shot here. Oh, hitting all the spots that, that he has armor. Great. Okay, so that's a nice hit. Taro getting up. He's down to 2 HP. Doing the shuffle demon walk over there. Eh. Showing minor damage. Okay, watch this. I got an idea. If it works out, it's going to be fantastic. If it doesn't, well, it's still a good idea. We're going to move right behind these two guys. <laughs> and I'm going to multi-target. Oh, you know what? We're going to be over in heat. We're going to be over in heat, A and B. Leave the tag off. You know what? I don't care. I don't think we'll shut down, but if we get two kills here, it'll be totally be worth it. it. Oh, how can we miss? How can we miss? We got one kill anyway. One less how, do, how do we miss with 97% chance to hit? Like, I don't even understand that. That was crazy. Okay, what's this guy up to? He's just running away. Yeah, he's not having any of that. I don't blame you, buddy. I wouldn't have any of that either. Alright, so we're not even going to worry about this second lance. I don't even know what they're doing. They don't want any of it either. They're just fleeing. Okay, so, uh, height... Let's uh, just step onto the side of the uh, Kentaro over here. Unload everything into his side. We're going to leave this one off and this one we'll bring back in. And that's it for him. She keeps pulling the trigger on it too. Alright, so this guy's trying to run away. You can't run, oh, you can't run LRMs, buddy. Oh, you can if you hide. But, I think... Can we get to a point where we can see his back? We sure can. We sure can. Alright, let's unload on him. On your ah, ECM's destroyed. Ooh, At least he's unstabled. Good. Panicked. Okay, Van Skater. Commander? Gonna sprint over. We're just gonna use the pulse lasers. I think if we can actually see him, we will. I don't think we can see him, though. Let's just move up then. At least we get to drop our heat. Get a little, more, little bit more resolve. What's up, boss? Let's just sprint up. How, oh, we can't even get, can't even see him. Well, we can see him from over here. There we go. On my way, double time. I'm surprised that guy was the first guy we shot at, and he's like. The last guy we're killing here. He played it smart with hit and run, I gotta say. Locked on. Rear armor. Wow. Down to one. So all their light guys are gone. I don't really care what these guys are doing anymore. We're gonna engage the main target right after this. There's no point even worrying about what they're doing. Okay, so let's go after a kill. What's up, boss? Van Skater, let's just walk it up. Roger that. Leaving the AC-20 off, because I think we're going to need that for the main guy. But we'll fire the three pulse lasers and hopefully kill this guy. CT him. Let's finish him up. That should do it. Okay, cool. So the main lance is down. Tango down. That'll last a little bit of extra cash, which is fine. So now we're just going to start moving up slowly. I'm going. 
We want to take at least one turn here. Ready to rock. Or we can get some cooldown going. Copy that, Commander. Excellent. So this guy is what? 75 tons. Orion, possibly? No, Orion's 70 tons, right? Marauder? Hmm, interesting. Marauder 2C? No. Marauder 2 is 100 tons, right? It'd be nice if it was a Marauder. We could pick up some more parts. Hey, you're a brave little one, aren't you? Going to reserve. That vehicle and mech, I have no idea where they are over there. All right. We're going to reserve past their uh, heavy guy. Looks like he's going to probably move forward to try and at least partially engage. Or is he going to run? No. It is a Black Knight. All right. We don't really have much of a choice but to hit this guy hard. So he's got a chainsword, thousand armor. We don't want him to get close. He's got a PPC though, ER. He's gonna run hot, not that worried with him. So let's go with ground zero first. Uh, we're gonna walk down into the forest here. Copy that. Still only using one PPC, but we're gonna try and kill this uh, do 101 damage and try to kill this locust in one shot. Nope. But we'll be able to finish him off. So let's move height here. So we can only see this guy. We're gonna save our SRMs, but we're gonna fire all our lasers on him. That should probably do it. Leg gone. Not quite enough. Hmm. Waiting for orders. Let's walk over here. Copy so that. next turn we're going to go after the main guy. I think our heat's probably at a good level now. Three pulse lasers going for the CT. The that should do it. Nice. Mech destroyed. Okay, flatliner. How many missiles we got left? 200. So let's start. This way? Like this? Get a headshot on him? No? Now I'm thinking he's probably going to try and make a break for it at some point. Alright, so... Let's get in here and engage. Let's maybe not go on the... Uh, Rough ground. That's rough ground too, eh? Okay, let's move over here. Two PPCs in the tag. Let's move. Let's at least the tag should hit the PPCs. Who knows? We've been missing them so much with these guys. See, one of them missed. Eighty-five percent chance, and we still miss with one. Okay, the mech has decided to move up and engage. All right, height. Skipper. It is your job to distract this guy, so Copy let's get that, you man. in there. We're gonna unload with everything. Except for those SRMs. Oh, we knocked him down. Except for those SRMs. I mean, he's been doing pretty good with uh, hitting with every all the lasers and stuff. All right, four or five. He's got lots of health in the head. So we're not going to worry too much. What do we got here? 99%. On the way. We're going to put everything that we can on this guy. Going to go for a headshot here. I'm thinking we're just going to just end up destroying this guy, but there's not much we can really do at this point. Yeah, two fusion core crits already. Oh, I like that. He's stressed. Need something, Chief? Okay, Vane Skater. Let's get you down over here. Sure, why not? Roger. And we're going to fire everything. Once again, we're going to try for a headshot. Maybe we can take his head right off. CT's got what left? 19. Yeah, he's done. Oh well. Sure. 
All right, where's our evac zone here? Up at the top. So it looks like... Oh, here comes a 60-ton vehicle. And is this... Where's the 30-tonner? I guess this is him here. The mech's up here where we gotta go, so... Ready for orders. Um, can we see anybody? No? Let's reserve. They're gonna need to have someone come around and be a spotter. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be just as fast as leaving as it will be to kill these guys, more than likely. Let's just reserve and see what they do here. Mech's gonna come down. the vehicle move in. Okay, I'm thinking now we should be able to yep. engage here. There we go. Let's see what this 60-tonner is. Peeking up over the hill, we've got a bulldog. Well, one good hit, we should be able to take this guy out. So let's fire. There we go. One down. Warning. Enemy vehicle. What are your orders, Skipper? Okay, height. Let's get your ass around here. Where can we see this guy from? Right here. Quick step Let's get some eyes on. We got some good long range weapons on our other guys, so we'll be able to fire at this guy. We're gonna fire uh, what are we gonna fire? That? Affirmative. Vindicator one X. So what's the 1X model? PPC, LRM, a couple of medium. Wow, okay. A couple of machine guns. Sure. Whatever works for you, buddy. So let's come around. On my way. Double time. How many LRMs we got left? We got lots. Let's unload them on this guy. Just fire normally. We definitely have a much better chance to hit now indirectly with LRMs than we had before. Okay, we're going to move back here. And the clan pulses should be able to hit as well as the ultra auto cannon. Oh, nice. So he is hitting much better with the ultra auto cannon. Even though it doesn't do as much damage, that's fine. These guys running. Really? You're going to make me chase you? Gonna make me chase you, you bastard. On it. Okay, one X coming down. Or not? What's he doing? Okay, moving within range. Nice. Let's grind this guy's bone to make our bones to make our bread here. So move up straight. Um this is a side shot. Wow, look at the low chance to hit. Let's just do it. Get up this hill. Um, let's go with the lasers. Let's leave that laser off with the SRM-6 is on. Just apply as much damage we as we can to this guy, try and get rid of him. Make him a little, bo a little bit unstable there. Flatliner can probably make him a lot more unstable. Fire straight on him. Firing everything. See if we can knock him down here. Knocking him down will definitely make sure that we kill him next turn. Okay. It's gonna overheat. Let's go with this. Nice. Both of them hit. So yeah, that Ultra 10. Knocked down. Nice. So we're all gonna go before him and then he's dead. Okay, so the light vehicle goes first. He might turn around. Yep, he's coming back. Galleon, wow. And he didn't even shoot. Good to go. Because he can't see me. Oh. On it. That's fortunate. Goodbye. Aye, aye. Vehicle trashed. And we should be able to finish this guy up now. Let's just sprint up here. Alright. Let's see if Hyke can do this. Straighten the CT, fire everything. Inflicted some nasty on that uh, he's not going to bail out, eh? 
Okay. I'm receiving you. Don't even bother moving. Fire. Go for a headshot. Probably kill him anyway, oh, but there we go. Game over. So that was a nice cleanup. All right, let's get out of here and see what we got. All right, 126,000. Now, I don't think we lost any components. We did take a little bit of damage. Not a whole lot, but a little bit of damage. Okay. Some good kills along here. So, we got a chance for one Black Knight part. Wow. Enforcer parts are definitely here. Kentaro parts are definitely here. And that's about it, really. So... We can pick up a flamer. There's, there's the Goss. Accuracy and evasion ignore. That's a triple plus? Let's drop it in for now. I don't think we're going to end up taking it. I'm still thinking the Ultra Auto Cannon is better. SRM 6 is with bonus accuracy. Uh, what else we got here? ECM Guardian. Mm, Barrow. Fusion core for money. Got another mask down here. Endo steel. I don't need those. So yeah, I think the Goss. For, uh, this is like a really meek kind of. Let's take the Guardian. Don't really need the fusion core for money. And as much as I hate to say it, maybe we take the Flamer Triple Plus. Yeah, I'm thinking that's... We're going to use medium pulse lasers too, right? Mm. ERPPC plus 10 damage. Improved ranges. Uh, yeah, kind of lackluster loot here. Let's just go this route. So one, two enforcer pieces. One, two, three Kantara pieces. A locust piece. Anything else good down here? Nothing. Oh well. Ooh, what's this? Locust P, backstabber. Well, not that we're actually going to be using the locust at all. But we do have a locust. Quirk, back, pirate. Okay, fine. 6,500 in, in repairs. So we made some good money off that. Comparatively, that is. Alrighty. Let's have a quick look in the mech bay. I think we're probably just going to trash that uh, locust. But let's see what he's got on him. If there's anything that we can keep here. Ooh, XL engine. Fusion core 150. Heat sink needs to be repaired. Fair endo steel needs to So we're gonna just repair this guy. Strip everything from him and then get rid of him. So that's actually good. I'm surprised the pirate mech would have an XL engine in him. That's a four million dollar value right there. Well, 1.3 million once we sell it. No. 500 and something thousand once we sell it, I think. So, heavy pirate machine gun? Wow. Fusion core 150 we can sell. So if we repair this, we're going to get endo steel. 20,000 to repair seven days. Yeah, it's worth it. Totally worth it. We'll recoup our our, uh, our right. expenditure when we actually sell the actual mech. So that actually t worked out really great then. Okay, cool. So these guys didn't take any damage. We have our trebuchet 7K that we've got set up here with the Goss Heavy Rifle. Uh, so he's up and ready to go. Um, I want to see how that functions in the... Uh, um, Lance that we have going right going on right now, but we can put an XL engine in this guy, a Klein XL engine in a cockpit too. So, um, what we're going to do, I think, we've got how many days till the end of the month here? Financial report coming in ten days. Payrolls back in nine. Blackjacks back in ten. So we don't we won't really have a Lance of Max back in time. Uh, let's just actually manage the tasks here. Let's have a look here real quick. So Wolverine's only one day. Let's bring the Vindicator up. Let's bring the Blackjack up. I want to see if we can get our other Lance up and running here. The two trebuchets, not worried about the fire starter. Really needs to be rebuilt. But he doesn't really need to be rebuilt because we do have that other trebuchet that's 
back in action. So the mechs at the top right now, these three at the top, are the ones that we need to have repaired along with this guy. So these four need to be repaired before we can go back into battle. So that's five days. So I think we can probably pull off another pirate lance um, contract, it's a, or not contract, but battle in here before we uh, move on from this planet. But for now, we're going to end the episode. What we'll do is we'll pull off one more pirate lance episode, and then we'll be leaving this system. Once we leave the system, um, we'll refit our max. So we're going to have a whole episode where we refit a bunch of stuff here. Because I want to really maximize out the, the uh, pirate lance and the main lance. So we might move up that heavy Gauss rifle into the major lance and downgrade some other stuff. So we'll see what happens. But until that point in time, I'll see you later.